Do Not Bring Your Dragon to the Library by Julie Gassman. When you visit the library, please keep in mind, no running, no shouting, to all books be kind. But there's one rule that's bigger than the rest, and it must be followed by all of our guests. Do not bring your dragon to the library. A dragon is sometimes a very rude beast. A story time, he'll take up 10 spaces at least. A dragon's big bottom can pack a real punch. Each time he sits down, you'll hear a great crunch. So do not bring your dragon to the library. Maybe you're thinking, don't worry, it's fine. There's plenty of space in this library of mine. Perhaps that's true, but he's sure to roam. Then you'll be wishing you had left him at home. So do not bring your dragon to the library. You see, aisles of books are hard to resist. She's sure to find sections that cannot be missed. As she starts to read, she could overexcite, and then chances are her flame will ignite. So do not bring your dragon to the library. I know, I know what you're saying is true, but you see leaving at home would make me quite blue. It's my favorite place. Please listen to me. My dragon would love our library. Movies and computers and places to read, tales of heroes and adventures of good and of greed, cookbooks and bios. Oh, listen to my plea. May I please bring my dragon to the library? I'm afraid, my kind friend, I cannot agree. A dragon library? It simply can't be. But don't fret, don't frown, I have a solution. Listen now to my smart substitution. Your dragon should not miss the library treasures. Just bring home some books for her reading pleasure. If you use your cart often, you will soon very, you will very soon see that your dragon will never have to go to the library. <laughs>